Ciao ragazzi! Bonjour! No, that's Italian for hi guys! No, it isn't. Is it? Yeah, and we're doing it on Di Natale, mate. Ooh, are we? What do you mean, are we? <laughs> yeah, I can't stand them talking. Better be not, Chris. You need to learn how to say hi guys in Arabic for your video. I only need to know one word, right? Calvo is bold in Spanish. That's all I need. <laughs> so you go to Spain and I go, dos cervezas, por favor. And you go, Calvo. Basically, I, I, did, I did some events with like DJ Mario and all they would call me is Calvo all the way throughout. It was unreal. I absolutely love Spain. Never been in the back since. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, yeah. welcome to Squabble the Showdown, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined today by Bateson, and we are saying ciao ragazzi to Antonio Di Natale, it's Fantasy Foot Heroes. Two and a quarter million coins, because I just love discarding coins against people who are ridiculous at FIFA. The last time we did Squabble the Showdown, Bateson, yeah. you made me discard Team of the Year icon, Muller. Yeah, and since then, all of them have gone up. Mate, what has happened to FIFA? Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Squabble Showdown. We're going to go through the squads, try and guess each other's players. And if you guess them, you get to give them stinkers. And there's discards on the line for the game, which is I lose all of my coins. Yes. Mbappe's team of the year, Bateson. Yeah. Extinct. Yeah. There's three of them in the graveyard at the moment. And I don't know how they're going to fix it. Hullet and Ronaldinho. It's just mental, isn't it? I just don't know how they're going to fix it. Like... Would upping it by five million make them appear, or do you think like there was not enough supply for people who wanted the player? Well, they can't go back into. Oh, there's two on the market: fifteen and fourteen point eight mil. Oh, that's the that's two more than the usually is. To be honest with you, yeah, that it, it is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I don't know what the solution is other than just constantly upping the price range until they do actually start to sell. But I, th I think with cards that good. The level of coins that people have to have to buy them, they don't really care how much it costs. It's just a simple equation of the amount of people who want it versus the amount of them cards that were packed. And they never get packed again after January. No, that's it. And, and with um, Team of the Year this time, we've got a shared market. So not, on, so not only have you got the people packing them, and, and, and I remember people throughout Team of the Year were saying how scarce it was that them players appeared. I didn't pack one. I spent almost a million FIFA points and didn't pack a Team of the Year. I packed a few, but I don't think I got an attacker. It's crazy. Yeah. It's interesting. We were, I was talking about this on my stream. Twitch.tv slash AJ3, by the way. Twitch.tv slash Bateson87, if you want to check Bateson out. Is it because it's so easy to get a good team this year from untradables that usually people would have a million coins? So I'm talking like the fact that every time we do a squabble the showdown now, the player just costs an absolute fortune. Because then I did Jota the other day, and he's like 200k. And there's no, there's not really any middle ground between players. Like every promo comes out, and you have a few god tier ones, like two to four mil, a couple of them that are like six, seven hundred k, and everyone else is basically fodder. Is that because people say have a million coins, but they already have a really good first eleven of untradeables and SBCs that they've done and packs that they've got untradeable and put all of their fodder into player picks and managed to get an icon or whatever it is. Is that when they come to have these million coins, they're just spending it on one player? So then million coin players become a lot more desirable, but there isn't any more. In fact, there's probably less supply because so many of the packs that you get this year are untradeable. I think people would rather use that million coins to put back into untradeable packs though and picks. Ooh, I, I'm not sure. Um, everyone's hyped on a Monday. Everyone's hyped for player picks though. That's true. And then the only way to upgrade, because obviously with a million coins, they can't buy like a Di Natale or an Aloran, which is the releases this week. Not quite, but last year you would have been able to. But is that because last year someone with a million coins needs to buy seven players for their team? So then they buy one for 50k, a couple for 100k, a couple for 200k, and a couple for 10k. Which meant that nobody was buying the Di Natales, because to be able to buy a Di Natale, you needed two million coins, because you needed to buy the Di Natale for one mil plus all of your other players for your team. Whereas this year, everyone's untradeable team's so good that they're like, I've got a million coins, but they all want to buy it for a million coins. Now he costs two instead. Because there's some... I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting one. Like, I think people love running untradeable teams. I mean, that's the, that, I see more untra full untradeable teams than I do, uh, like, people who buy crazy teams, like, teams that I have, I, 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 have, I think it's quite rare. Every single game of foot champs you play against, Player of the month Mbappe. Yeah. 
and Icon Jarzinho. Every single time. Guaranteed. I haven't looked at my untradeable team for quite a while, and I haven't played foot champs for quite a while either, to be honest with you. So it's better than what it could be here. But even mine's crazy. Never mind getting all sorts of red picks and foot champs rewards and tradable and stuff like that. Everyone who plays this game has just got a ridiculous team. So then I think that makes it so that then one-off players that are actually going to upgrade your team become a lot more desirable and therefore cost a lot more. Whereas nobody's putting a Trimmel or a Papan, a Matoma, a Sozabli, a Ricky Pre Do you know what? They don't go into anyone's team. A Taglia Fico. Nobody cares anymore. No, 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 no. So, so, so these are different, right? Now they don't go into people's teams. But the problem is with these cards, the instant boost is only good on a few of them, mainly the heroes. But these cards, well, last year they did. I don't know how it's going to work this year with the changes they've made for the boost, but these cards turned into absolute monsters. I think there was a Dembele last year who sent Maxim in. These cards could turn into absolute monsters. Maybe Fantasy Foot's a bad example. What about Future Stars then? Like, yeah. Gwehi? Nobody's going, oh, I'm going to put Gwehi in my team. No one's going, oh, I'll have a Langer for my squad. Like, people's teams are just too good without them, which means they all want Alvarez, which makes Alvarez 1.5 mil, because everyone wants him. Whereas if people, if not everyone could afford him and their teams would be better upgraded by, better by getting Gwehi and a Langer and somebody else, Alvarez might only be 800k, because there's a lot less people who want him. I don't know. I haven't got a marketing degree, uh, economics degree, either. So I don't really know Bateson. I know I just like talking rubbish about FIFA, to be honest with you, which is what Squabble the Sharon is a lot of the time. However, we should probably actually guess some formations and some players and stuff and start hopefully building me a really good team around this Di Natale so I don't have to discard another 2 mil. <laughs> I actually paid 3 point... I actually paid 3.2 for him. You bought him for 3.2? I bought him on the day he... the just his price range. Because I'm an idiot. I won't even show you how much I paid for Alaran. That can wait for another video. Did you see when Danny Aaron's bought the Team of the Year front three? on release, made a video, spent an hour making a video and then lost nine mil when he sold them. Yeah, and now imagine if he had held it. If he's a kept on to yeah, them. he would have made loads. They're all extinct. Yeah, I, I paid six, well, um, I did a tweet yesterday um, of how much I picked, because I think I tweeted out that three players are about to go extinct. Uh, yeah, where is it? wild. Yeah, so I paid 6.9 for Hullet, extinct. Shut up. I paid 10.1 for Ronaldinho. And I paid 9.2 for Mbappe. I mean, I bought David Beckham for 2.8 and sold him for 5.2 yesterday. I thought that was some good trading. Six for Hullet. You've made nearly 10 mil on Hullet. Uh, yeah, and even then I, I thought I'd overpaid. Um, you just think that, don't you? But Because usually Team of the Year players come down in price after they're released. But that hasn't been the case this time around. They've gone up. Wild. Man, I could sit here for ages talking about like... FIFA conspiracy theories and stuff on like why Team of the Year players are so much better and why Team of the Year icon like that David Beckham is like the best card in the game and it's David Beckham yeah it's wild like it's the hidden chemistry it's the hidden stats I don't know I just want to know Bateson's formation okay Andy can I have the 3 4 2 1 formation please am I hearing things 3 4 2 1 3 Four? You've just picked three at the back for yourself! Sorry? Wait, what? Am I not allowed? What do you mean you're not a Are you okay, Bateson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Is this some weird new foot champs meta that I don't know about? This is a this apparently is the pro formation now. Shut up. You absolute sweatbag, Bateson. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what I was trying to see what it's like. I, I presume you haven't wrote that down, though. Actually, I thought you might have. No! No, I haven't! What are you on about? I don't know how it's going to work, but in drafts, I absolutely smash everyone with it. Oh, my God. Well, I'm just, I was just, just going to go normal 4-3-3. Three, three. <laughs> oh, well, I thought you were going to go a 4-3-3 three, three formation, but it was the 4-3-2 one. I thought you were going to go and play with the two center Well, forwards. that's the old thing, isn't it? And then they broke it. And I got... I was good... Genuinely, yeah, I was so good that. at FIFA for about two days. And then they patched it, and I'm terrible again. Yeah, I, I never jumped on it. I've always stuck four triple two, and I, I'm trying to figure a way how to do this formation in my team. But it's so hard to remove one of the players I've got. Yeah, I wrote four triple two. Yeah, four triple two. I usually, I think I did that in the last ones, but yeah, fast switching up today. Nice little experimental team. Have you got? Do you know the custom tactics that you have to do in that result? Well? No, I'll just wing that as well. 
It's the instructions you got to be careful with. That, yeah, that's what I mean. The instructions, like, do you know what you... What, what, go on, enlighten me. What are we doing? I'm up to what? I swear on my life, last time I did Squabble the Shirt against Ande, Angre Gengia, him. He was basically playing this. I was, I was watching that video as well. I was Mate, watching that. Yeah. He just parked the bus and then he'd do one through ball and was through on goal. And he'd have like seven people in his box and I couldn't get through. And then he'd play one through ball down the line and he'd be through on goal and score a tramp goal. Honestly, the most infuriating thing I've ever seen in my life. Even more, because he's sitting there going, United, 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 as he scores tramp goals. Oh, he's soon back in his box now, isn't he? Soon in his, back in his box now. Yeah, Gingers lost 7 0 and then. Southampton, nil-nil. Terrible. One of my mates is a Liverpool fan, actually, Mateson. You what, sorry? And he's asking me... One of my mates is a Liverpool fan, and he's asking me if I knew any getaways in the UK. Yeah. Like, places to go that are good. And I said, oh, you can't beat Bournemouth. <laughs> Everyone's having cherry coke now. Absolutely. Shh. Oh, I've got a player lined up to give you. Don't you worry if I guess any of your players. Oh, fantastic. Let's move on. Into the first picks we go, then, Bateson. Now... Before you emasculate me by picking the most ridiculous players in the world, yeah. I'm going to build something that normally people would go, oh, that's quite good. And I go, oh, cheese comment section. So <laughs> I'm going to use at left wing, a guy who I did squabble the show down on yesterday with Jack for his channel. And he's actually crazy. He's also my new best mate, Diogo Jota. He's actually my best mate as well. If we got like a best mate triangle going on, we're gonna have to fight for him. We what we we do WhatsApp every now and then. Nice, it, mate. He's so good at FIFA. And he, it's crazy. He's ridiculous. I don't know how you can be so good at football and so good at a video game as well. It's ridiculous. And he's so good in FIFA now that he's got this fantasy foot. So I'm gonna use it. Yeah. And then on the other side, I'm gonna go for Team of the Year nominee Saka. Nice. So you can have a booth of them. I thought just. Ignore Di Natale, he gets full chem anyway, and get a good team. Yeah. So I went with uh, Chiesa and Poliatano in case you went to have a play around with uh, with the Serie A, because you can get some good players there. Sure. Who would you like? So in my uh, centre forward position, please, could I have the T? I was looking at Serie A myself, but I'm not really interested in that one. I was looking at Bundesliga, there's not really anything else there as well. So I'm going to stick Liga 1, uh, Alexi Sanchez, the fantasy okay. foot, and then joining him is another team of the year. Now this is bait because you know what I'm like, and it's a team of the year who is extinct. Don't, Bateson. Well, Don't. About to be Don't. extinct. Don't. What? Mbappe. Can I have Mbappe, please? Don't! No! Why? No? No! It's not fair, Bateson. So you had to guess the biggest and best players on FIFA. It winds me up so much trying to guess your players as well. I wrote Benzema because I thought you'd do that team of the year. And I wrote Abadi Pele. Ooh. No, you Ooh. can't use team of the year. Bappe, Benzema. Oh. Yeah, so I thought I would save the... Uh, I thought I would save... Because I always usually put the hero or icon in the top. And I was like, I'm going to save this one and see how we get on. Did you get uh, any of them? Here no. Right. Yes. No, I put Benzema and Abdi <laughs> Pele. The, the problem is now, Bates is playing with an experimental formation and needs to win because he's just put a crazy player on the line. Not fun. What, what do you mean, not fun? Not fun. I've got the... You, yeah, you might have... Yes, you might have Team of the Year Mbappe. However, this Di Natale is like half of my club. Oh, my God. Ooh. I was going to... I couldn't decide whether it's right. Messi, Mbappe, Pele. I didn't want to... I knew it wasn't going to be Alawiran because that's what we're doing for your video. Just basically just looking through, thinking, oh, that's bloody ridiculous. Oh, what about Haaland? Oh, you might go Haaland. Oh, maybe it's normal Pele. Maybe it's Eusebio. Maybe it's Cruyff. I was meant to guess this, and he... Oh, let's move on. Right, into the midfield we go. Let's get this video over with as fast as possible so I can set all of my centre mids to drop between defenders, my fullbacks to stay back, my depth to one, and we pray that Mbappe can't score Travellers from outside the box. Oh, I'll have to change him. Yeah, I'll have to move him around and make sure he's set up nicely. He, he can't hit Travellas anyway. I'm not very good with Mbappe. Mbappe can't hit Travellas. No, I don't think he's got outside the foot trait. But it's teaming the Mbappe, Bateson. He could do anything. Can't, oh, right. Centre mid, Bateson. I'm going to go back to the Serie A. Okay. And I'm going to go upgraded showdown Locatelli. Nice. 
I'm going to go Marquezio. Nice. Crazy good. This is what I'm talking about as well, with, in terms of player prices. I know there's the World Cup one. I'm not made of coins. I'm going to get the normal one. Have you guessed how much normal Marquezio is, Bateson? He's like 300, right? Nope. No? Nope. More expensive than that? Nope. 200? Less. Wow. This, this is what I'm talking... It's crazy, the price. This card, by the way, for anyone watching, is absolutely incredible. It's one of them cards that just plays better than it should. And it's already a hero, and it's already in the Hullet Club and stuff like that. It's absolutely crazy. It's his body type. He's, like, got a Hullet body type. Is that what it type. is? Yeah. He's so good. What What's his body type? Like, is there a special... Is it because he's lean? I have no idea with him. No idea. Who was your, who was your third? Fred. Fred. Nice. Fred. You can have all three. So the way I went was Carvalho for the perfect link to draw. I thought you might try and hit that. I went with Erdogan because he's got a few nice cards in this FIFA. And then I actually did think that you might go to another league. And I went to the Serie A. But I went with Bevella. Oh, okay, nice. He was in my foot champs team and I discarded him the other day. So I'm going to try this Locatelli instead, see if we can replace him. <laughs> yeah, I've not, never played with him. Um, so, Andy, for my two CDMs... No, sorry, two... <laughs> they were playing CDM, I hope. Um, the first thing they made <laughs> that I was like... such a little rat. Oh, they're both going to be honest. <laughs> drop between defenders. <laughs> um, <laughs> is... Oh, I hate you. The Ligon. And it is going to be... And this one's, this one's actually a really bait pick. Uh, if I can get to it, where is it? Gwenduzi. How is that bait? Because he's Marseille and French. Okay, yeah, sure. And by the sounds of that, that sounds pretty good. Um, and then the other uh, centre midfielder I was going to go with is the new Fabian, which came out as a fantasy as well. Honestly, trying to guess your players is like needle in a haystack job. I generally thought Gwendozi would have been a pick you I went mean, for. I mean, I guess it is, but then because it's you, you don't think about it. In the same way as like for a normal person, if I was doing Scrubble the Show against you and I had to guess two centre forwards, I'd have probably guessed Raspadori and, I don't know, Chiesa or something like that. If you can play centre forwards or... Politano or I don't know yeah. but then you go oh, I love team of the Mbappe please and like brilliant how am I ever meant to guess that so then I start writing down ridiculous stuff and then you pick Ganduzi. but what about Fabian you see that Fabian yeah. Bateson okay <laughs> you're talking too much about Ganduzi. <laughs> Oh, who else did you have wrote down? Get him out of here. I put Renato Sanchez as the other Oh, one. so he would have been the other pick. So he would have been the one. Where, oh, Dan, I could have gone with. Who could I have gone with now? Variety, loads of people. Unreal. Right, I'll keep Fabian there, but who is the uh, bronze you want? I'm going to give you Cherry. How do you spell that, Andy? <laughs> C-E-R-R-I-E. <laughs> like, the, like the cherries, Bateson, like Bournemouth. How oh, Is he big? Oh, he's six foot two CDM. What a beast. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. Okay, I feel a bit better. You still do have a better team than me, even with Cherry, because that Mbappe is just cheating. But another one of them. Yeah. And we're getting there. Oh, I'm scared, Bateson. And if I don't get my fullbacks and you've got Mbappe, what side do you play Mbappe on? Uh, I've not decided yet. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, at right back, there's only one man. Who can stop killing Mbappe? Okay. And that's not Trent Alexander-Arnold. Who is, to be fair, one of the best right backs in this game. You put me onto him. It's not Kyle Walker, who for some reason costs 1.2 million coins. It's, of course, Seamus Coleman. That's going to be an interesting one. And at left back, I'm torn. But I think I'm going to go just to make sure I actually have a player. Because I presume you're going to... Oh, no, you're probably going to pay him back in the right, aren't you, to Travella. But then what about Sanchez? I'm going to go with Stupinian. Nice. Because there's no way you've written him down, and I'm not having a bronze. So me being basic with my picks, guys, went with Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw and Trent is what I assume you'd have written. But I was scared to say Malassia. And Delore. Hello. Okay, it's all, it's always one of them four. To be fair. Yeah. So, I I was uh, I was annoyed. Wait. I was missing out one Pazaka, but it semi worked anyway. Actually, no, it didn't work. I got absolutely none of his players. This is absolutely brilliant. There you go. Seamus Coleman, sixty grand. 
I haven't played against him, ever. 60 grand, 60 grand, Seamus Coleman. What a man. It's going to back pocket him, Bappy. Actually, let's, let's see where Sanchez plays. Sanchez is, can play, so he's right footed. And he has outside of the foot trait uh, as well. Put any of them on the left, mate. Coleman, pocket them. Don't worry. On the well, on the left, I think if I can get this off, I'm going to use a special special position change. Um, there's a nice Nuno Tavares there, but you know what? I'm like on my SBC players don't like putting them up for grabs against you, so I'm going to go with a special position change of David Junior. You're taking the piss. Are you messing? Oh, I was going to put him in there, but chat told me that you love Nuno Tavares. No, I don't. Where did he get that from? Oh, we oh, never listen to this chat again. Of course he's going to put Janola to flex chat. What are you on about? Your, ch your chat are absolutely all over the shop. And the right mid, I could I was going to go with uh, with Sydney Guvu, but I can't know. Um, so I might go for a wander around and throw in someone else and start something else. But it is, what is that right mid spot I want to do? Because um, this could turn into... Uh, right, not only are we going to throw in one team of the year, we're throwing in two. Don't say Messi, Bateson. Team of the year, Messi. Oh my God, this man's remortgaged his house to do squad builder showdown, are you messing? It's a nice team. I was... <sighs> I was I, uh, I didn't know what to write and Messi because they're the two most expensive ones you could possibly pick for that. So who have you wrote that? So, so Tavares was the left pick. Who was the right pick? I wrote Nuno Tavares and David Beckham. Oh, I don't like Beckham right side. Centre mid only for Beckham. Oh, this is looking. I, I say this is looking nice, guys, but I've actually still got Fabian in the team <laughs> uh, for, for 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 building purposes. But hello, you, you're what? To mate. be fair, Cherry looks quite, mate, quite good sat there team in the middle. Thirty-five mil. Does it? 35 million coins. Go big or go home. Oh my Christ. So, I've, so, so just double checking, I've done that right with Janola, right? I'm using a special position change on Janola for left No, but you can do hero and icons, whatever you want. That doesn't count as your special position oh, change. Oh wait, so I'm not using my special position change. Oh my God, in the bank. In the bank. Yeah, so then I was thinking, is he going to go Janola and that Marcus Lorente? Have you seen that thing? He can play right mid and he's got 83 defending and you want to park the bus. Messi has a right wing back though. I don't know how that's going to play out. <laughs> well, I wish I. Oh, I wish I was so unfortunate to play team of the Messi as my right wing back. Too fair. What's he got for defending? Forty. Mortgage rates at the moment. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, well, interesting enough, I found out about some sort of mortgage rates this week. Uh, with uh, looking to buy an extension. <laughs> That's in the bin. God, right. Let's move on to the centre backs and goalie. Right, Bateson. Let's finish this ridiculousness that you're doing off. I'm going to make you go first this time. Okay, okay. I'm actually surprised you didn't do that uh, before, actually. So there is a lot of lineups for uh, the Liga Un, but you don't like it when I do that. So we're going to switch it up a little bit, and I think I'm going to stay French. Let's see what I've got in my club though. Uh. I am going to go with Fofana as the first one. The second one isn't. I've, uh, there's a bit. There's two bait players. Both of them have got special cards. I'm going to go with a Raphael Varan uh, Winter Wild card. And then there's also another French, which is. He's a French Premier League, Andy. Who is he? Who is he? You know him. Plays Chelsea. Baddy Ashiel, that's it. Baddy Ashiel. So we've got Fafana, Varan, Baddy Ashiel. And then the final player is going to be Meslier. If we can have that. Stuck French. That's technically a hybrid. Hello. Hello, guys. I'm absolutely fuming. I put Saliba. Right, so that's so uh... I put Konate. Ooh, okay. I put Militao. Ooh, okay. And I put Courtois. Because I thought, ooh, he might go Saliba, Fafana, Konate, Varane, one of them. Or he might go Rudiger, Alaba, Militao, Courtois to get even more Team of the Year's in. <laughs> and what yeah. you've done is pick three other French Premier League centre-backs and a French Premier League goalie that I didn't write down. 
Yeah. So I so so the, the, I heard something said by you, which was the chat said that I like Tavares. So okay. what I thought is if the chat are telling you what I like, they will know that Saliba is my number two centre back at the moment. Okay, well, he, did, he didn't actually tell me that, but he did tell me this Tavares thing. Is that so? Were you lying that you don't like Tavares, or do you like Tavares? No, I think they may, I've used him, but I wouldn't say he's better. They just than, made him. Yes, yeah, this yeah. chat is stupid. So you should just pick Saliba Bates and try to go back and do it again. No, no, no. Well, I want to see. Yeah, no, actually, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I just need. So I've got like Premier League players from all sorts of random nations. This is why I thought it was good to pick Estupinian and Colwyn. Because all I need now is three Prem players, and I've got the maximum. I'm a little Premier League merchant. Yeah. And I've got the max amount of Prem players to get full game on every Prem player. So I thought, you know, Irish, Ecuadorian, you're not going to guess that. I don't know if to apply that logic to this or whether to just pick the best ones that I can. So reminder, you're going up against Di Natale. No, shut up. No, 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 no. Di Natale, no, Mbappe, no. Sanchez, Messi and Ginola. Fafana. You're going Fafana, nice. Fafana. Laporte. Nice. See, now this guy is really good and really, really random. But I, I've actually already got <laughs> Seamus Coleman in who gives him a nation link for Randolph. So I don't know if that's a stupid thing to do. Do you not remember our last one, Andy? I don't know. What happened in our last one? No, if you don't remember, it's all good. Uh, well, I'm not picking him because I feel like he's actually a bit bait. I'm going to go Mendy. Nice. Can I have them? You can have all three. You've yes! got all of your players today. I'd still rather have your team, even though you've got Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> so I went with. Yeah, so I've, I didn't think you were going to go all out. I thought you were going to stick reasonably mediocre on your defence. Now, that S, that S2 pan, whatever his name is, I've been I've used him in the Squad Builder Showdown before, and he caught me out so bad, because if you never used him, you used someone else. You've got another link. You could have gone with bringing the Serie A, which would have confused it even more. But I went with Gomez, Gaihi, and Alisson. I was so close to picking that Future Stars, Gray. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fun. Oh, I'm scared, Bateson. Yeah, well, I need to very, take out Fabian and add in Cherry. Very scared. You do need to take out Fabian and put in Cherry instead. Now, interesting fact, guys. All of my team is still on full chemistry. Even with Cherry? Even with Cherry. So I'm just going to tell the people. My team is worth 4.2 mil. Your team, 27. 27 mil? Yeah, so I had the crazy Ginola in at one point. But ah. you've got Liga and Ginola, haven't you? Which is still mental. Yeah. 27 million coins if Footbin's done that right. Which it probably hasn't, because I swear they run Footbin on the A servers these days. It never bloody works. But... Somewhere around 30 million coins Bateson has just put in Squabble the Showdown. And I'm playing against them with a stupid Yan. And do you want to know the reason I do this, Andy? It's because you mean. It's not. So it gives your Squad Builder Showdown data account, whoever runs that, something to get my name tagged in so I get tagged in every now and then. You just want to be one of the people with the stats. Do, okay, do a most expensive team stat, Lucas. There you go. Actually, I'd be curious to see who builds an average of the most most expensive teams. I think it will be me. Oh, you think? I think I'll it, I think it oh, will be me. Oh, bloody hell, I would never have guessed. <laughs> but I'd be curious to see the gap. Like, how much of a gap is it? Because I know I'm on the discard one, and I'm going to be on the discard one for a long, long time because of that one Aldinia. Yeah. Um... And then I'm slowly bringing you up with discards as well, so we'll have to wait and see what happens today. Oh my god. Let's get into a game. Julia's hands are so cold that it like hurts to put them on your body. Yep. That's what I'm doing right now because I need all the movement in my fingers that I can get, even if it's at the cost of pain, because it's going to be pain when you beat me like 17 0 with that Mbappe. Oh. <laughs> can I have the ball, please, Bateson? Oh! Brilliant! Brilliant! <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come he's on! back in it, Meslier. You were not fast enough, mate. Come on! So we've actually banned Oosh. tramp goals from Scott Bush and Bates. That's not that a tramp goal, that's well worked. Look how many people are in the box on this attack. It is a crazy formation, right? And if a Messi can... <sighs> Saka can't do. We are just about uh, to You didn't even him. time yours. I at least tried to time mine. Yours just goes in anyway. Time that. Oh my god! <laughs> Time against his face. Oh my god! It's actually a very hard formation to play against. 
uh, play with in defense. <gasps> oh no. my god. Where's my pen ref? What are you asking for a pen for? You just clattered me with your goalie. I could have passed it back to him for an open goal. Liar. So we've actually banned tramp goals in Squabble Showdown. Oh, that was a geez. tramp goal. That was a brilliant save, though. Go! Go! Oof. It's no one to pass to. Oh, no. No! Yes! Yes! What? Yes! Oh, Jota the Slaughter sat there chilling. What a terrible goal. Oh, Jota the Slaughter. He's a... Oh, oh get my. Out, okay. Have that. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking him to half time. I'm on the back foot here. Yeah. No way. No way. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> oh my god, Andy. Get it. No. Oh god. The team of the Apollos are coming into play in the second half already. I can feel them. I can feel them. Block it. Oh, yes, Mendy. oh my. Mendy, how are you this good? How are you this good, genuinely? Right, he's just run over there and made me look. <gasps> Score, 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 score. Oh score. my god, oh my, Andy, 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 what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, what a ball. What a nice. ball, what a goal. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, oh, that's a goal in it, I couldn't switch. Oh my god, oh, that's disgusting. That, what is your keeper doing, mate? He's broke his back like me, I've felt that pain before. No, you've missed! Not like this. Oh. <laughs> I remember Andy and that guy in the chat telling you to keep the score down low on purpose. Because it's rigged. It's not rigged! We do not rig this series! Really don't want to discard two million coins, Peterson. <laughs> Free picks. Have you mixed your team up? Yeah. I will go with your... Free picks. Left back. Right back and left wing. Yes! Only thing I moved was Dina Talley. So really? you've got two oh. cheapest players apart from Mendy, Coleman, and Estupinian. And you have got Jota the Slaughter, but I'll take it. Right, there we go. In the grand scheme of things, I'm actually very happy. Ciao, guys! Au revoir!